Jewel Kumar Sen and uh, in this video tutorial you are going to learn about a new question which has been asked in gate previous year in numerical data type all right so what they have asked in this question that is important i mean this is also important to know what topic is this i, I mean in this question what is they are talking about as you have read the title that it is said that it's a, it's a it's a question of heat engine right that's why you came to know it's a question of heat engine but if you will land directly on the question without knowing any title then probably you will be in confusion that what's what type what what topic is this what the question is asking so let me share with you how you can find how you can able to find out about it that is useful work maximum useful work can be obtained from the heat source from the last statement we can come to know that this is a topic this is a question of heat engine so once we come to know this is a question of heat engine without thinking anything else first draw a diagram of heat engine right and find out i mean just draw like this and now find out what they have given they said source that means this is a source so source temperature is 500 kelvin and provides thousand kilojoule okay now the temperature the other source is 27 degree centigrade that means 27 plus 273 so it's 300 kelvin okay now what they have asked maximum useful work we have to find out w is equal to what we have given three values only so we have to look at the relationship what relationship we are having we know the efficiency is equal to what output by input so output is what w input is what thousand kilojoule now anyhow okay we have to find out also in kilojoule so doesn't matter we don't need to take kilo as is 10 to the power 3 because we as it is it is as that that we have to find out the answer in kilojoule so we know that w is equal to thousand multiple efficiency work done right now if anyhow we can find out efficiency then we can find out what is the work done what is the useful work now again we know that what is the formula for efficiency in terms of temperature that is t1 minus t2 by t1 so what is t1 minus t2 that is t1 is 500 minus t2 is 300 divided by 500 so it's 200 by 500 this cancel so it's what is the value of we are getting that is 2 by 5 that means 0.4 now put the value of this efficiency what we got 0.4 here so what we got 1000 0.4 is equal to 400 kilojoule right now as it is a numerical uh, type question therefore the answer is 400 kilojoule uh, yeah 400 kilojoule so the input is 1000 kilojoule and work done we are getting is 4000 uh, 400 kilojoule and the result is 600 kilojoule okay because incoming is equal to out outgoing we know that so this is all about the question of heat engine and the same question asked in gate previous year i hope you have understand the question and if you will get question related to it in uh, in upcoming examination i hope you can solve it right so thanks for watching thank you very much and if you are getting help from my tutorials don't forget to share with your friends that's why they will also get help from the tutorials all right so thanks for watching thank you very much bye bye hope to see you again in my next video tutorial bye